those people that have cleavages within themselves, those are those people that don't have unity and communication with their infinite source in the space. So this, this is the day that I will try, with your help, to connect you a little to that infinite mystery, which is beyond us. And we cannot define it with the words, with dogmas and doctrines. It's only a heart feeling that you don't belong even to Earth, to the solar system. Your destination is beyond that, beyond that. Once that touch touches you, you are a different human being because from the moment of that touch, the flower, the divine flower, the divinity that is within you starts to unfold. And when it starts to unfold, you become a somebody different, something different. You start looking to the life in a different level, from a different viewpoint, from a more inclusive viewpoint. And then in that viewpoint, you start expanding your heart in such a degree that you do not live out from your heart any living being. Wow, we. You understand that? It expands to the all living beings. It expands to beyond the universes. And that's called that expansion. That law of expansion is called compassion. What is compassion? Compassion. It takes all into it. And first time in your life, something clicks in your mind that you are not that man or not that woman. You are the whole that exists. It's such a illumination and expansion of consciousness which cannot come by mathematics, physics, engineering, technology, this or that. It comes suddenly if you have a contact, the infinity that is within you and within the universe. Just one second if you got that illumination, you broke all the walls that were separating you from everything and anything. So this is the subjective meaning, esoteric meaning of the Vesak festival in which we are going to born again. You understand that born again is a very fantastic word if it is not misused, you see. Born again as a divine being and suddenly you see you, even you surprise, and you say, was I that man? Was I that woman? First year ago I was cheating everybody, manipulating, uh, taking their money's revengefulness and jealousy and this or that. I don't, I don't recognize myself. That old man passed away and something new came in my mind. That's why it is so important that the Vesak full moons, you come together and invoke. What invoke? The infinity that is within you. And evoke the infinity that is within everybody and recognize them. See, it is so interesting. I was uh, 17 years old. I was doing a meditation. My teacher was sitting, his beard was up to here very, very in fantastic man. I sat down and he was doing meditation and few people, suddenly I don't know why I did it, I opened my eyes and felt one minute that I am them. I closed my eyes. I said, that was good, let me open again. First I was shocked. Then I did again. I felt that I'm looking from them to me and from me to them. I became a one minute identified with them. So I kept this one year secret in my heart. Then when I was leaving the monastery, I went to my teacher and said, you know, something happened to me. I didn't dare to tell you. Can I tell you it now? He said, yeah. Do you know that? I said, you are me, I am you. <laughs> 
He smiled and hugged me. Yeah, yeah, he said, keep that in your mind. And never any moment, he said, no matter how people will hate you, how people uh, give you trouble and problems, accept them and look at them, but then suddenly bypass them and see them that they are you and you are them. And this is the Vazek message, the preface of it. This is Gita Seredarian, and I would like to thank you for your interest in this Torkum Seredarian video lecture. We have books, booklets, and spiritual study courses on this very topic. Please visit us at our website, tsgfoundation.org, for more information on all TSG Foundation products and services. Thank you.